How hard is it to learn to play the harmonica? Hey, I'm Jonah and I am a multi-instrumentalist. I don't talk too much about it on this channel, but I play a lot of other instruments, including harmonica, guitar, bass, mandolin, trumpet, banjo, piano, ukulele. I also sing, I write songs, I produce music, and more things aside from that. So I feel like I know what it's like to learn a variety of instruments. And I've also gone to music school, so I know what a formal music practice looks like and how that might differ from how we approach other more casual instruments like harmonica or guitar. Tar. With all that said, I feel like I have a unique perspective on how hard it is to learn the harmonica. If you are considering picking up the blues harp for the first time, this video should give you a decent understanding on how hard it is to actually pull off. If you already play, then this video will give you some more perspective on how your instrument compares to the rest. First of all, the harmonica is a very physically easy instrument to play. If you just play the harmonica, you may not appreciate this, but it's a big deal. Many instruments require you to adapt your body in unusual ways. As an example, if you play a bowed string instrument, you really need a teacher to make sure that your body mechanics are correct, or in the long run, you will injure yourself. The same thing also goes with guitar. I've taught many guitarists of all ages, and the physical difficulty of the guitar is a real challenge that everyone has to face. Strings are hard to press down, and if you're strumming hard, Hard, your right hand could take a lot of beating. I've met a lot of guitarists that have had to quit or really pull back because their bodies just couldn't take the abuse that guitar playing was giving to them. As a harmonica player, you probably never have to deal with something that holds you back from playing unless you develop, you know, vocal or lung issues that will kind of affect this. In comparison to all of the other instruments that I've tried, harmonica is the easiest easiest instrument to physically play. You can hold it in either hand, you don't need to use any force while you're playing. It only just requires you to breathe and not even that hard. Managing your breath can be a challenge, but it's nothing in comparison to the struggles that other musicians go through physically. I'm not saying that it's easy to play. We're gonna talk about that later because you know things like bending and single notes are real obstacles, but you're not gonna be hurting your body, which I think is a big deal. Harmonica is also a very accessible instrument due to its size and its cost. The small size of a harmonica makes it very easy to practice at any moment, so you can like keep one or two in your pocket and pull them out whenever you want to practice for a little bit. This leads to more opportunities to play. I mean, it's not that easy to fit a piano in your car, but you can keep a couple harmonicas in there and play whenever you get a free moment, right? Next, let's talk about the learning process and the complexity of this instrument. Instrument. I'm going to compare a couple instruments here that I have decent experience with. Piano is up first. If you are a new piano player, you probably learn with books that you read. The songs get progressively harder and you get steadily better. Piano is very physically easy to play, so it's more about learning how to put the songs together and how to execute them correctly. There's a lot of complexity in piano playing, but it's a pretty slow buildup if you follow follow the traditional path. I mean, there's some things in like classical uh, piano music or ragtime piano or jazz piano that is so incredibly more complex than really anything that we do on the harmonica, but it'll take you a long time to get up to that level. Learning to play piano is, for most people, I think, a slow and steady process where you're training yourself to read progressively more complex music over time, and you have the benefit of having hundreds of years worth of music to choose from. I also used to play the trumpet. And the experience of learning trumpet was kind of similar to how you would learn piano. You learn how to read sheet music that gets progressively more complex. This is the case for most woodwind and brass instruments. I mention this because this is not the way that you would work when you're learning how to play guitar or harmonica. Let's talk guitar next. I taught guitar for many years, so here's how the experience goes for most people. In the beginning, a student has to physically adapt to the instrument. Your fingers need to develop calluses and you need to do lots of exercises to to just help you coordinate both your hands and develop a sense of rhythm. It takes a lot of work to even sound somewhat okay on a guitar and your fingers are going to hurt. 
Assuming you get past that, players usually split off in one of two directions. Either they play rhythm guitar or they learn lead guitar. So rhythm playing involves learning from chord charts, maybe doing some singing and potentially songwriting down the road. With lead playing, you are usually focused on learning guitar solos, improvising, and studying some truly difficult techniques. Also, it just takes a while to understand the guitar conceptually. Unlike a piano, where all of the notes are laid out in a very logical way, the notes of a guitar repeat all over the place. They go up when you go down the neck, and they go up when you go across the neck. It's really confusing trying to think of all of this and make sense of it conceptually. So you have to spend a lot of time understanding how this whole thing works. And most guitars deal with a lot of music theory and music theory can be very difficult, especially like, you know, dense chord theory. And that's something that you're not going to deal with right away as a guitarist, but down the road, you probably will. Like pianists and trumpet players, you will spend some time learning songs as a guitarist, but you won't be reading sheet music. Instead, guitarists rely on chord charts, guitar pro style tabs, and even games like Rocksmith, which is really fun. On that topic, you also have an almost unlimited amount of songs to learn, so there's never really a shortage of things to study and music to inspire you. In comparison to these instruments, harmonica has a bit of a different flow. In the beginning, you're probably going to spend most of your time struggling to play single notes. Developing a good embouchure, like the way that you adjust your lips to play a single hole, like we could do puckering or tongue blocking. That is a very important part of playing the harmonica and it doesn't come quickly for most people. As in, you might be able to get a single note most of the time, but getting a really high level of accuracy is something that takes people a little while, sometimes a couple of years. That said, harmonica is very forgiving. I mean, it's very easy to play the wrong note on a guitar, but most of the notes are going to work on a harmonica. So a beginning harmonica player will sound better than many other musicians in an improvising context at least. Next, let's talk bending. Bending notes on a harmonica is very challenging for most students. If you're not a harmonica player, here's what it sounds like. From my experience, it takes people about six months or so to really learn how to bend and then potentially years more until their bends are really solid. This is a roadblock that I don't see in other instruments. You, you have to learn a really difficult technique just to access a lot of the notes. It definitely holds harmonica players back in a big way. Once you get through the single notes and bends, then harmonica starts feeling like lead guitar. Most likely you'll be improvising, learning songs, and playing solos. Harmonica is a little bit harder than lead guitar in this way because there's not as many songs for you to learn. Most of the popular harmonica songs are decades old at this point, and the way that harmonica songs are presented is really bad in comparison to guitar or pretty much every other instrument. Guitarists have these really well notated tabs, but most easily accessible harmonica tabs in comparison, outside of books and specific teachers' educational programs, only include numbers without any notation of rhythm or the subtleties of the music. It's not the best system, and it makes the song learning process more difficult to the point where many people don't even engage with learning songs. I see this a lot as a teacher. The challenges of learning songs on harp leads many players towards improvising as their main musical practice. Personally, I really like this. I would rather be soloing over a blues track than learning how to really nail a certain piece of complicated music. However, if you're the kind of person that likes things to be very clear and straightforward, you're not gonna get that with the harmonica outside of some specific educational programs like my course, Blues Harp Success. Next, I wanna talk about the complexity of the harmonica. At first glance, it looks really simple. I mean, harmonicas come in one key. <laughs> It's kind of hard to mess it up too badly. I mean, everybody's had the experience as a kid where you could, you know, grab a harmonica and play some simple tune. <laughs> And that's all great, but once you start getting into more complicated harmonica playing styles and positions, then the harmonica becomes a little bit obtuse with its note layout. I mean, let's think about it. You have normal blow and draw notes. Then you have bends. 
which are performed differently depending on the hole that you're on. And then you also have advanced techniques such as overblows or overdraws which are extra notes that allow you to play new scales, but they're kind of hidden and they don't flow very nicely in the progression of notes on the harmonica. And they're also extremely hard to execute. You really need a specialized instrument to be able to play them. There's a lot of complexity here, right? Also, because harmonica has such a focus on improv, you actually have to understand this instrument to play it well. I will say that it's not as confusing as learning how the fretboard of a guitar works. I don't feel like it's that overwhelming, but learning the layout of a harmonica is definitely more challenging than other instruments that I've played. Finally, harmonica players learn primarily from YouTube teachers like me, Tom Lecky, Adam Gusso, Jason Ritchie. That's fine. Obviously, I'm a YouTube harmonica teacher, so I'm glad that you're here, but we don't have the same wealth of educational programs, games, or even just in-person teachers that other instruments instrumentalists have access to. There's also some inherent problems when you don't have a private teacher guiding you and they are hard to find in person. The moral of the story is this, harmonica has a more casual and less straightforward path of progression in comparison to other instruments, but it kind of makes up for it in the simplicity of its design and how accessible it is. The fact that you can always keep one with you means that you're going to be playing more often, right? There are a lot of barriers that you will face, like bending, and that's going to hold you back. But once you get through those things, it's probably the most similar to learning how to play lead guitar with its focus on improvisation, learning riffs, and expressive single note playing. So is the harmonica hard to learn? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it can seem deceptively easy when you don't know much about it, but as you start to learn more, you'll realize how complex it is and how few resources we have to learn it outside of a few books and some YouTube videos. My suggestion is to get private lessons and or enroll in some educational program like my course, Blues Harp Success, which you can learn more about. The link is in the description. If you play harmonica, how was your experience learning this instrument? Do you find it difficult difficult or easy? How does it compare to other instruments that you may play? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.